Hi guys, Rob 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to Mode GP23 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We are off to Le Mans next, and uh, qualifying is going to be raining, which I am not looking forward to. Uh, the sprint and the full race are both going to be dry by the looks of it. But yeah, um, wet qualifying, not looking forward to that. We're probably going to be starting probably last, but let's go and have a look. Right, let's head out. We do have a slightly more stable bike now. Um, so yeah, let's see how we go with the Honda in the rain. When we've had wet races, I tend to lose the front quite a lot. In fact, I don't think we've completed a wet race yet with the Honda where we haven't had at least one crash, so yeah. I don't want power map in three, that's the only thing. If I'm going to crash, it's definitely going to be front end. Especially going into corners like these. Would definitely be a corner that would be easy to uh, tuck the front at. Way too hot into that, that's my own fault. Mess that up big time. Braked way too late. This I don't want to speak too soon, but it does feel a bit more stable, even in the rain. Yeah, forty-four six. That's not really gonna. be anywhere near the time it needs to be. Oh, it's going down to first gear. That really does unsettle the bike a hell of a lot. Right there. Messed up those two corners. Okay, we've gone to the top. What's Fabio doing? Was he just spinning up there? Right, gonna have to go back out because we've dropped down to 5th place. 1.6 off. Yeah, this is where it's going to start getting a little bit silly. I might drop down a power map in 1. See how that goes.
dare I try the soft whack tyres as well. Okay, right, let's try. Let's try the soft, soft wet tyres. We're down to 10th, 1.9 off. We've got some soft wet tyres in. We're only really going to get two laps at this. I'm going to put it on power map in one as well. See if that helps. guys Okay, we're literally going to get one shot at this, which isn't ideal. I do not go to first gear through here. No, okay, that's us done. So we're starting down in, well, third from last. Lovely. Right then, sprint race. Medium front, I'll keep with a medium rear. The only issue we're going to have is uh, we can't use the ride height device for our launch. I mean, we could, but it's not going to work out too well. Straight to the back anyway. Oh. Oh. 
There's Marquez, he's way down again. Oh, oh! Terrible. So, on to lap two with 12th at the moment. We got Fabio. And Yalis is leading. Okay, that was weird. Okay, it's kind of all bunching up again a little bit, but we've only got two laps to go here. Okay, we need, oh, need to watch out for track limits.
I could have him there, but didn't quite work. to that. In the middle of there, he made a bit of mis a mistake there. Shame I wasn't a bit closer. Shame there wasn't another lap. We could have probably got fifth, but. Yeah, so I could do. Couldn't get any further forward. Best lap, Polar Spargo, 31 2. Okay. It is what it is. 24 points behind uh, Bastianini and 23 points behind Vignales, or 25 points even behind. No, 23. Do your maths right. Back down the third, five points behind in the uh, team's uh, title, Constructors. Right, let's go for the full race then. So, I'm going to go for a hard front because the medium was overheating a bit in the in the sprint. So, we'll go with the hard. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm up in two. Oh! Bit wide there. Oh! Yeah, that was not quite going to work there to try and get Miller. Up to seven.
Oh, we're still on power map in three, that's not good. Forgot to change it back. And we get past Sarko. Okay, try and catch Luca Marini now. I mean, that was a lovely move. Is he going to come past though? Probably. Yeah, Nakagami in fourth. Yala's leading again. Pulling away from Marini and Zarco. Second to Nakagami now. I'm glad I went for the uh, the harder front option to be fair though. Well at the moment I am. Oh, 
Oh, a mistake there from Taka. Can't get past him just yet. Is he here? Remember, he was my teammate last season. We're top Honda now. I don't think we're going to get a podium there. It's one and a half seconds to uh, Oliveira. It's only going up that gap as well. I think we've got as high as we're going to be able to get today. So Oliveira's catching Bastianini in second though. is the penultimate lap. Definitely pulled away from Taka. Gap has come down a little bit to uh, the two ahead, but it's not quite going to be enough. So like Oliveira is going for that overtake. I reckon it might be a little bit like the sprint race. We might need one more lap to, to get one more position because it is coming down just not enough.
Definitely needed one more lap. One more lap. One more lap and we would have had both of them. That's a bit annoying. So my best lap wasn't actually too bad. Oh, 31-1. Just a tiny bit slower than Vinales is in the uh, the lead there. 30.4 for uh, Marquez. Fastest lap, so quite a bit quicker. But yeah, that was... Uh, a quite promising considering we were getting quicker and quicker as the race was going on and we only finished um, 0.2 behind Oliveira in the end there. So yeah, one more lap and we definitely would have had both of them. Bastianini was holding Oliveira up but there was nothing I could do to get past. So the championship leader now is Vinales. We are 35 points behind him. And uh, we are 31 points behind the Beast, who has dropped down to second place. That was an interesting race. We managed to uh, eventually fight our way forward, which is very promising. The bike definitely felt more stable than before. So we just missed out on the podium, so no Park Ferme, unfortunately. We haven't met any of our objectives. Right, we have a new message. I mean, we didn't even really get to Bastianini, but if you say so. So, next time, Magello. All dry by the looks of it. That's fine. Okay. Right, standings is what we want. Now, all three categories. Moto3, Mazia leads the way. Holgado down one place to second, two points behind. On Chu down one place to third, six points behind. He's joined on points with Ricardo Rossi, who moves up to fourth, still six points behind. Uh, Bertele moves down two places to fifth, and Furusata has also moved down. So the top eight separated by 22 points. Moto 2, Ayagura, big lead. Um, over Fodger in second, Vietti third, Acosta in fourth, and Marcos Ramirez in fifth. And MotoGP, Vinales has taken over the lead of the championship by four points from Bastianini in second. Uh, myself in third, 35 points behind still, Zarco fourth, and Luca Marini in fifth. Anyway guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave us a video like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch and look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you!